Wine. We're back. The best of food and wine with Anthony Gismondi and Casey Wilson live from the Wines of Canada stage at the 2017 Vancouver International Wine Festival. Now, here's Tony and Casey. Welcome back to the Best of Food and Wine. I'm Tony Gismondi. I'm Casey Wilson. Uh, we're very happy to see this young man uh, with us now, Matthew Mercier, uh, who was the uh, on-site winemaker at Asoyas La Rose for uh, a number of uh, years, has gone back to France, uh, still working with the property. He's come back for the wine festival, I believe. Uh, Matthew, how are you? I'm good. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Thanks for having us today. Nice trip back to Vancouver. It, it is. Yeah, I arrived uh, two days ago, so yeah. I'm very happy to be back for, for Canada, uh, uh, enjoying the Canada for the wine fest. Yeah. And we're joined by uh, Benoit Jurosen. Did I get that right? Yes, or? it's good. Great. And you're you're actually on site at Asoyas La Rose. Yes. Uh, day to day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great property. It is, yeah. Uh, very, uh, very glad to uh, represent the US Laos, which has been uh, there for uh, many of years now. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, we are glad to give her to, to represent that famous brand of the US Laos. Well, I was thinking today in a day thing, like a Soyuz La Rose was a joint venture with a, with a Canadian company for years, and the Canadian company let it go, and actually the French company has complete control of it and runs it now. Yeah, yeah. Recently, in, uh, I mean, in 2013, no, uh, Group Taillon, which was a partner at the beginning, yeah, uh, it's it's uh, no sole owner of uh, of Osio uh, since since three years now, and uh, with the same uh, goal, uh, continue uh, on the legacy of the past on making high quality wine, um, and uh, we are enjoying uh, the 2013. Uh, or we're going to be enjoying the 2013, the last release of uh, of Group Taillon, so the first wine and the sole ownership of Group Taillon. Yeah. And, and how did Benoit end up in Canada? Did you come from France? Yeah, I'm, I'm going from France, from Bordeaux. Yes. And uh, I arrived uh, nine months ago. Okay. Yes. And uh, obviously. Quite a change from... From France? From France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent some time in California, so it's it's kind of the same weather, but uh, to compare to Bordeaux, yes, there's some, some differences, yeah, for sure. Uh, Soyuz La Rose is a special place, though, uh, Matthew. You worked there for years. That that piece of dirt is very interesting place uh you know it well tell us a little bit about how how unique it is or how special it is yeah it is very unique place um so we are it's a place uh so for Kanagan valley so we know the use but 400 meters um in elevation uh we got at five to ten percent of slope um so there is uh, 80 acres all in one block uh, from from Merlot uh, to uh, the Petit Vado, so all the five main variety from from Bordeaux. Uh, the vineyard has been planted in 1998. So at the beginning, we try to uh, implement um, the Bordeaux varietals uh, and to uh, and to do it right. So to um, uh, plant it the right varieties at the right place, uh, just just to get the best of it, and uh, with the goal of making a, a world class Canadian wine, but with Bordeaux varietals with a vision of using uh, the bottle technique, but to make a BC wine, so uh, to express the BC terroir in, uh, yeah. through, through it. Okay, you brought a couple of wines today. Uh, where should we start? Uh, we have a Petard 2013 and the Grand Vin 2013, which are the yeah. two wines on the market right now, the, yeah. last, uh, the last two release. I guess we should start with a Petard. Okay. Uh, which, which is, is a, what we right. have on the right, I think. Yeah, yeah. I guess the right, yeah. the right glass, yeah. So, uh, you know, in the traditional sort of way we would speak about French wines, this would be a second label wine, but it's not really a second label wine, no, is it? No, is, it is not, and less and less year after year, because at the beginning, uh, uh, when we extended the vineyard of Osius Laos in, in 05, uh, the young plant goes into the petal because it was not, it's not enough concentration to go into the Grand Vin. Yeah. But more and more, it's a selection of fruit, but our, it's not having enough tannins to go into the Grand Vin, so we just keep it separate. Having less extraction, less skin contact, just to preserve that freshness and to just to keep the fruit into it. And uh, we do uh, just another labels, different one, not the second one, but uh, another labels. I feel a bit of your hand in the, these two wines. Uh, the, the, you know, we're going to get to the 13 La Rose, which is such a great wine, but even the 14, uh, w what are some of the things that you want to show up in this wine, or what, what, what's the philosophy for you now with? I think the, philo the, yeah, the philosophy has always been uh, making that um, um, Bordeaux, Bordeaux side wine, but also with uh, 
with that uh, finesse and elegance that we always want into the wine, even if it is very powerful with a lot of tannins, but can age for 10 to 15 years. I'm speaking about the Grand Vin, of course. Um, we always wanted that finesses into into it, and we try to work a lot on that just to have a wine that is, that can age for 10 years, but also that can be drinkable um, soon because we yeah. know that the people cannot always wait for 10 years. So. And Benoit, do you notice you have more freedom in Canada with wine, with what you do, compared to France? Yes, for sure. For sure, it's like a, a growing up country, and so there is there is more more way to to express what what you think about wine, and there is more freedom in in, in your way to make wine, for sure. And you're far away from those guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but we are. In, Kind of in touch uh, every day. You're in constant contact, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think it's fascinating because I would love to be in Bordeaux when they're tasting a Soyuz La Rose. They must be in shock some days when they try that. Yeah, I know. We have to. Uh, we do not do any over tasting at the same time because the Ozio Slaus Grand Vin is just this poor full wine. Yeah. So even tasting some Bordeaux close to it, uh, it's uh, the bottle or it's sometimes a very uh, light yeah, wine compared they look to light. It. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you're scaring Petrus and... Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Maybe not yet, but soon. So uh, what, what do your winemaker friends think of the wine from Canada? Uh, they, they do think that it's, uh, it's a very great wine. And um, recently, uh, the Grand Vin has been um, in the new building in Bordeaux, uh, the, civil the, the Wine Civilization Center building yes. that they built. Um, so it's available for everybody now in Bordeaux. Um, and everybody has been able to compare it to our Grand Cru uh, from Bordeaux without any doubt. And, uh, and the group Taillon always put in front uh, at, at any event, uh, uh, Vinexpo, Pro Wine, it's always present. And the people always taste it and are uh, very uh, interesting. And they, are, they always come from the interesting part of it and they always come back for the quality of the, of the wine. Good. Let's taste. Yeah, I... Uh, okay. Well, let's... Uh, what about the blend now? Let's talk about that for the Petalis, and then we'll, we'll move to the Assois de Rose. So, in the Petal, I've uh, always been... Um, so, to keep that free for one wine, we always put more Merlot into it, so it's yeah. always around 80%. So, in, in that 13, it's 80-something uh, uh, percent of Merlot. And then there is always that 15% uh, of Cap Sauve, and very few percentage of Cap from Petit Vado and Malbec. Just because the Petit Verdot is very high in tannins, uh, we always put a little bit into it because of the flavor, but not not as much as into the Grand Vin. Uh, we have only two blocks of Capron, which are very very good, so we yeah. always have a high percentage of the Grand Vin. Uh, so very majority of Mel, very fruitful one. It's pretty impressive. Both of these wines have a fruit. And uh, in, in a lot of the sort of earlier versions of these wines, they were they were dry and they were they were correct sort of very Bordelais style, but they didn't have the fruit that we love in the New World. But somehow you've managed now to to combine the fruit. I guess the vineyard's older; that helps. It, it helps for sure. The, the vineyard's got uh, almost uh, over, yeah, 20 years old now, so yeah, it, it, it helps for sure in getting you're, the concentration. You're not afraid of fruit, are you? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, I want to talk about a Soyuz La Rose 2013. So uh, this wine, I think, is uh, I've had every vintage. This is really one of the best that's ever come out of there. Is it? Do you know why? Because you made it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I would not say that first. But uh, I think it's um, it just uh, year after year you you bring something new to to it, and uh, I think we. We, we reach right now a level that we have uh, a lot of knowledge about the vineyard. We are able to uh, know almost each plant where it comes from, what they can give, how we have to handle it to make a good wine of it. Yeah. Uh, we know how to age it better and better year after year also. I think the, um, we uh, go more uh, on elegancy on the wood too. Um, and so that makes the difference at the end. We do experimentation every year to try to improve the quality. Uh, so sometimes it's work, sometimes not, but we just keep something of it year after year, and, and so we put that together. And I think we, uh, you know, with the 2013, we reach uh, another level on the, on yeah. the quality. Yeah. Uh, well, you can see it on the label, but there's 57 percent Merlot in in uh, the 13. Is that a good number for you? Do you think for a Soyuz La Rosa, or is it really vintage dependent? Or I think on the Merlot, yeah, between 50 and 60, it's probably a good percentage. Yeah. Uh, also because of the vineyard it's planted in 60 percent of Merlot, um and it's it's where it's planted it's very adapted uh, some 
some are a little bit more vigorous, uh, so it giving more fruit forward wine, so we put that into a petal. But usually the Merlot has the concentration uh, to go into the Grand Vin. Yeah, uh, Benoit, I, I don't know, when you, just before you left, we talked a lot about maybe seeing some single varieties. Is that is that something that's going to happen at Soyce La Rose, or is it a big secret, or well, what's the deal? I, I don't think so, uh, except it's very uh, secret, but I don't know. But no, yeah, there has always been a, a blend wine, and there's always going to be a, a blend wine. Uh, we, we do think, and we believe, and we have been tasting that, but uh, when we blend things together, you reach another level. Uh, when, of course, when you taste the mellow, it's good. When you taste the cap franc, it's good. But when you blend it together, then you have another level that you cannot imagine, just having the single varietals. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's very... Um, the answer is no. no the answer no is no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no single no. varietal. No. It's very French. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's cool. Uh, well, we really in. I, I can't get over this wine. What do you think about the future of this wine? It's just a baby now, but showing it is lovely balance already, which is a great sign. Uh, but it's going to live for quite a long time. I think so, yeah. And the, the, the good thing in Super 13 is that it has a good acidity level as well, mm -hmm. which was not always easy to get. And um, the 13 vintage has got that cool year with not being too hot, and uh, which helps a lot keeping the acidity and the tannins are ripe. So I think it's going to be uh, lasting for a long, uh, probably one of the vintage that will last for, uh, for a long time. Yeah. Uh, Mathieu Mercier, uh, winemaker with uh, Asoyes La Rose and Benoit Girosin, both uh, working on site winemaking. Thanks so much for joining us today Thank on you. the Best it was of Food Wine. Yeah. And uh, I know there's a long lineup with these two good-looking Frenchmen at the booth. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're all dressed up, too. We love it. Exactly. Yeah. Enjoy uh, being the theme country this year. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. See pleasure. you soon. Yeah, Thanks see you for bringing the wines by. Soy Saluros 2013, folks. Uh, if you don't have your case, you should get it. Uh, this will be a wine to be reckoned with probably in the year... 2023 to 2033. You're listening to the best of food and wine. I'm Tony Gismondi. I'm Casey Wilson. We're live on the floor tonight at the 19th, uh, or sorry, the 39th Vancouver International Wine Festival. We'll take a quick break. You're on Seattle 650's Best of Food and Wine, and we'll be right back. We're live from the Wines of Canada stage at the 2017 Vancouver International Wine Festival. There's more of the show coming up in just two minutes.